Hi everybody. Today we're going to work on uh, to make a snowflake. Usually, as you uh, know, uh, snowflakes are white, but uh, you can uh, also make them in different different colors or um, different uh, by using uh, different uh, types of, uh, of yarn and uh, always yarn and um, crochet should match now uh, today uh, I'm going to start I'm going to use a uh, crochet number three uh, and I'm going to start uh, with the uh, magic ring technique you could make you, you can start also with uh, uh, slip knot and uh, five chains technique and the result will be the same I'm going anyway to make a, a video with in this by starting this way and uh, in this case I would like to know your opinion if uh, you prefer uh, the two techniques in the same video or uh, if uh, uh, different two different uh, separate videos could be okay and uh, now if you don't remember or if you don't know how to start crocheting you can go and see in my first tutorial uh, on how start crocheting with the two ways uh, magic ring technique and uh, slip knot technique uh, to help you to make it easier uh, this uh, tutorial the first you will find it at the end of, of, of this tutorial so if you go uh, to the end uh, you will find the first video to see how we start uh, crocheting now I'm making the the magic ring and uh, I um, pro proceed by making two uh, two uh, chains the original pattern uh, says three advises three uh, chains but um, the first space becomes uh, very large so I uh, start with uh, two chains and two and I add two more because we're going, as I said, to create spaces. Now I pass uh, hook, the hook uh, through the, the circle and I work stitch like this. Now I make two chains and one half double crochet or as I call, call this uh, way of working uh, half uh, double bind stitch it's the same thing uh, now uh, we roll around our hook once uh, the thread we pass our hook through the circle, we take the thread that's behind and we're going to work all our stitches together. This is the half uh, double uh, crochet stitch or the half double bind stitch. Uh, now I'm going to make two chains and another half bind uh, or uh, half double uh, crochet 
and in this way we're going to create uh, spaces here and we're going to make uh, totally five uh, half uh, double stitch and we're going to create six spaces now the first two three uh, chain beginning is uh, like a half uh, double stitch it takes the place of the half uh, double uh, crochet now two chains and I roll around uh, my hook uh, thread and I pass through the circle I take the thread that's behind I bring it forth and I work all the stitches together now it's one two three four and the fifth once around my hook the thread I pass my hook through the circle I take and bring forth the thread that's behind and I work my stitches all together now as you can see we created one two three four five and we close our circle here on the third stitch slip stitch uh, the slip stitch is pass uh, a stitch through the other simply now I'm going to uh, stretch here the short part of the yarn to make uh, smaller this uh, circle the middle and now we start working in the uh, spaces we've created we make uh, a slip stitch in the first space and I start Three chains, one, two, three. I pass uh, the, the, the hook through this space, the first space, and I take uh, um, the thread, I work and uh, a slip stitch, I simply pass one uh, stitch to the other now I'm going to make five chains one two three four and five we were working in the same space as you can see I pass uh, my hook through the same space, I take the thread as behind, I bring it forth and I work a slip stitch simply passing one stitch through the other and now we are going to make uh, another three chains. One. 
two and three always in the same uh, we're working in the same space we're passing through the same space our uh, hook we take the yarn that's behind uh, and we uh, work a slip stitch simply passing one stitch through the other and this is our first cluster now uh, we, we are going to pass to the second space we make a chain and we pass the second space we take the yarn and we make a sl slip stitch and again uh, we, we work as in the first space three chains one two three we pass uh, our hook uh, through the space the same space we uh, take the thread and we work a slip knot slip stitch by passing one uh, stitch through the other this is a three and then we're going to make five now we're going to make five chains one two in the same space pass through uh, the space our hook we take the yarn thread and we make a slip stitch now we are going to make another three chains one two and three Always in the same space, we pass our hook through the space, through the hole, and we work a slip stitch, and that's the second cluster. Now, to continue and pass to the third space, we make a chain and we pass uh, through the next space we take the thread and we work a slip stitch to start now with our three five and three chains now three one two and three chains into the same Space. I take the, the thread and I make a slip stitch. Now five chains. One, two, three, four. pass our stitch through the same always uh, space and we make a uh, slip stitch and now the three same space we pass a hook through the in the space and we make a slip 
stitch and the third cluster is ready now to pass the to the next one I make a chain and I work with a slip stitch in the next uh, space now again three five and three chains the first is three one two three same space I pass through and take the, the yarn it's behind the thread is behind I bring it forth and I work a slip stitch and the three one in the same space I pass through I take the thread that's behind and I make a slip stitch now we make a chain and we pass to the, the last same uh, space I pass through and take a thread to make a slip stitch five now five chains one two three four and five always in the same space for the, this uh, cluster two and three in the same space I work a slip uh, stitch through the next space I work a, a slip stitch then one two three chains through the space I take the thread is behind I work a slip stitch now five chains one two 
a chain, the last chain, and I'm going to uh, close where I've started. Bye.